actually just talking. This is a, a pretty big matchup in, in, in 1A football coming Friday night. Um, you, when you look at Terrabusco, uh, what what is the most that worries you the most about them? The running attack. Um, number 20 Falk is a pretty good back, big back, and uh, you know we, we exchanged two films with him and, and films. He not only uh, takes the handoff, but they get him behind un, under or behind center and shotgun, and he runs from there. So, I mean, we're we're figuring he's going to have the ball about 25 to 30 times in this game. So, you know, that'll be the number one thing to stop him and and see if we can change their game plan a little bit. And and, and that being said, did, did, did you work on that in defense uh, on the defense side this week? In oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, because the the uh, style of offense they run, they got a guy in motion, got an H back all the time. So so they've got some misdirection going on back there. And so you really have to train your kids to keep your eyes on your reads and, and not get your eyes on, on what's all the commotion going on in the backfield. So, yeah, um, you know, you have to be solid um, to the play and solid because the quarterback will keep it and run back. So, you know, we're making a special emphasis on keeping track of the H back and which way he's headed. Um. Your team are coming off on, uh, the third year in a row of winning the, the TRC championship. Um, what what's going right right now for this team, and what and how do you use that to your advantage throughout these playoffs? We don't have any stars on this team. I mean, you know, a couple of years ago, we had kids with statewide numbers and stuff, and um, our leading rush is 560 yards. You know, and and uh, we've got probably five kids who have somewhere between a dozen and 20 receptions, and uh, so we don't have that one guy uh, last week gave Lloyd rushed for almost 1,800 yards last year. And uh, we took him off offense because we felt we was going to need him more on defense. And uh, he, he banged his shoulder up a little bit. And that's just kind of been the way our kids' attitude is, is wherever you need me, I'll be there and play. Um, what do you, you know, when you look ahead tomorrow night's game, uh, what excites you the most about this game? What are you, what are you looking forward to? It'll be a great atmosphere, you know, because they got the kind of tradition and the kind of fans that we, we have. You know, they've had a lot of success up there through the years. They got a lot of people up there that support them. And, and uh, you know, I, I've never coached higher than the 1A level, but I think there's a lot of excitement at 1A, at 1A level. You know, I think you, you'll find a, lo- a lot of good football players. You may never see them play in college and, and stuff, but, you know, they're like us. They can put some big kids on the field, and they can put some speed on the field. So I think it'll be a pretty interesting game. How's the, how's the mood been in practice this, this week? I know, like I said, you guys went undefeated. You won the three three years in a row at TRC. You know, but they seem, are they grounded? Do they know what? Seem what to be. They're... Yeah, I'll tell you what. I, I've never really got a handle on, on these kids. And we, we played Peru over there uh, a few weeks ago, and we got there earlier than what I'd like to get because we had too much time to kill. And I thought, man, they got no focus at all. No, there's no focus, and we, we hit the field. We're ready to go. So I usually my talking is Monday through Thursday, and I don't say too much to them on Friday. You know, I just let them come and play. And but th- these these they've been good kids all year. We don't have problems in practice. They behave themselves well, and so it's fun to be to practice with them. Anything else, Coach? That's it. Oh. Um, a little nervous. Just uh, can't wait to play Friday. Ready to go. When you look at Terrabusco, um, what worries you the most, uh, especially on your side of the ball on offense? What, what are you looking at with them on, on their defense and, and, and working around that? Uh, they're five front. They got a good nose tackle. Um, we just line has to step up like they do every week and be ready to play. What's the mood been like in practice this week? What's coach been kind of telling you and coaching you up about Terrabusco? Um, it's a little tense. He's uh, he's like normal, yelling at us, getting us ready to play. <laughs> on Friday nights, you know, it's in high school. It's like playing football is is fun to do, exciting. Um, what are you looking forward to Friday night when you get off that bus and you get dressed and you get out there on that field and, and uh, see, you know, Southwood fans, your family there? Um, what are you looking forward to on Friday night? I'm looking forward to the uh, butterflies, I guess. I love getting those, and then after the first snap, I'm ready to go. <laughs> um, you guys obviously are ranked in 1A, and so is Cherubusco. So that you know, there's already an electric feel to this game because a lot of people, are, even us, are saying this is going to be one of the best games in the state 1A uh, football. Uh, how electric do you think it's going to be? Would the fans behind you guys going to help you guys uh, on Friday night? Oh yeah, they're behind us every game. Um, they help us out a lot, get us going. 
Uh, what else, Alex? No, you're good. Um, there's something else I was going to ask you, too. Maybe not. Anything else, buddy? How, uh, how much do you uh, appreciate your uncle being out here? Uh, quite a bit. I like him a lot. Um, what, uh, what, when you look at Terrabusco, uh, what do you guys, what are you concerned about the most on it? I mean, and you've got both sides of the ball, so mm -hmm. you kind of gave me a perspective on both sides there. Uh, well, right now we're focused really on their running game. They have a really strong run game. They have some big guys up front. They have some strong runners. Their, their backs are pretty big. So that's our main focus right now. We can shut down the run game. Then if they convert to a pass game, then we can stop that. When, uh, when you look at the, the other side of the ball, what, what else concerns you? Is there, is there uh, anything else there that? <laughs> I guess what concerns me most is they run a five front, and we haven't seen really a five front all year long. Uh, and they have some pretty athletic kids. So that's our main concern. But we face mainly four fronts and three fronts all year long. So a five front's a different look, but I think we can handle it. Obviously, you guys are coming off uh, an undefeated season, regular season, I should say, with another TRC championship. Um, how, that momentum that has been built up all year, and especially beating Tip Valley, is always good, especially at Tip Valley. Um, what what right now is working well for this team that's going to help you, you know, get to uh, get into the playoff? And try this again. I'm so sorry. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> what what is this team just doing well right now that's going to help you in the playoffs? Uh, really what our team's doing well is we, last year we focused more on the run game. We had a lot, a lot of plays that resulted with a run. Uh, but this year I think we can, we can pass and run the ball both. Uh, and, I mean, we have a lot of kids. You, we never know who's going to make the big play week to week. We have a lot of good kids out here. Anybody can step up, and everybody works hard. Everybody's trying their best every single play. Um, you guys both... Cherubusco and you are ranked in, in 1A. Uh, a lot of people are saying this is going to be the best 1A game on Friday night. So a lot of elect electricity in the air. Do you guys feed off of that? Will that, that, will that kind of help you guys, when, especially with you? Because, you know, Southwood fans travel well and, and, and follow this team well and back this team well. Does that help give you guys the momentum you need? Yeah, I, I, we can feed off that. But most of the year we've been basically we've been the underdog all year long. So it's a little bit new kind of energy when people are actually on our side. So, uh, yeah, I think we can take this in and take it into the playoffs and come with a strong out, uh, result from it. So. One more question. Um, what are you looking forward to the most uh, come tomorrow night? <sighs> what I'm looking forward, obviously a win, but uh, I'm, I want to see who can make a play. I want to see who knows. I want to see who can step up because it's always exciting to see who, who does it week to week. And. I think, I think we're going to have a lot of kids step up tomorrow night, and I think it'll be fun to watch. Awesome, man. Thanks, man. Good luck to you. Thanks.